Do not be alarmed. This is not an actual event. It is a simulation staged by teams from ARF, or Air Rescue and Firefighting. Highly specialized Houston Fire Department crews stationed at George Bush Intercontinental and William P. Hobby Airports. Captain George McAteer runs the operation at Bush. Our mission from the FAA is to establish an escape path for passengers uh, that might be involved in an aircraft incident, accident. Uh, we're, we're there for the people. There are three stations at Bush with a minimum of three trucks per station carrying three firefighters per truck. Then he'll give us an alert and tell us something along the lines that we have an emergency coming in, uh, like on runway 15 left. Uh, we have a Boeing 737 coming in. He's experiencing engine vibration in the number one engine. Uh, he has 130 souls aboard, uh, and he's about uh, five miles out. Each truck carries a very heavy load. We carry 3,000 gallons of water, uh, 400 gallons of foam concentrate, 500 pounds of either dry chemical agent or halotron, the clean agent. But the trucks, as they said, are about 60,000 pounds. These six-wheel drive all-terrain vehicles, towering roughly 13 feet tall and 10 feet wide, can reach speeds up to 80 miles per hour. From the time the alarm starts, when the uh, air traffic control picks up the crash bomb, they, we need to be at the center of the furthest runway discharging agent in three minutes. Specially placed nozzles are designed for maximum fire suppression and to extinguish the fire quickly. But they rarely, if ever, foam the runway in an emergency because it can cause steering and stopping problems. The emphasis is on staging. We'll put one truck at the arrival end, one at midfield, and one truck at the departure end. So that way, no matter where that aircraft lands and stops, we've, we've at least got one truck uh, fairly close to them. The men and women who work out here live an intense existence. They are moms and dads, relatives and friends, who give of themselves in other ways as well. They're driven individuals who want to be there to help. That's really the most rewarding part to me is, is being there to help people on their worst day ever. Bill Barajas reporting for Houston Airports Today.